Alright, hey guys, just wanted to share with you all a group ride that I often go on with the brand Cycle Club. This is a 7 a.m. ride on a Saturday and covers about 45 miles of riding in about two and a half hours. We had a solid group out today. We had somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 riders. And so I just wanted to share some cycling safety tips and tricks on how to go about these rides, communicate with other riders, and be safe as possible and have a good time. These rides are great for training and building endurance and overall fitness. And so I'm just going to cover some key bullet points here and hopefully you all can use this information to translate to your rides. So here we go. All right, so generally we have two pace line groups of riders parallel to each other. Unfortunately, this road was very narrow and the cars are going pretty fast. So to avoid any accidents and anyone getting hurt, you can see we just have a single pace line. The lead rider up front is holding a constant speed. We can see riders pulling off to the left, falling back in the pack. When this usually happens, the next rider moves their way up in the pack while maintaining a constant speed. We have a pretty good pace here. Everyone has a good cadence and we're all moving forward. Here's where things get a little sketchy. You can see riders all over the road as we approach the short climb. When this happens, you wanna make sure you give yourself room and beware of what's going on by talking or even shouting out to the riders if things are getting a little out of hand. You can see several riders out of the saddle during this climb while all the riders are maintaining a nice cadence. The rider there on the left is in a low gear, hammering up this hill when you really don't need to do that. So you can see the rider in front of me spinning nice and comfortably and I'm spinning a nice cadence, not using so much of my energy. So you don't want to burn out mid-ride, just pace yourself so you can sustain all your energy. Now these rides can get very aggressive and lots of riders here race regularly and are in the survival of the fittest state of mind. So if you're out there starting out, you just want to get a feel for the road and what other riders are doing. Don't make any sudden movements unless you have space and if you want to pass someone, just give them some kind of indication. When close in the pack, I have my hands on the hoods or the drops, this way grabbing or feathering the brake isn't an issue. Never overlap wheels, uh, that can cause serious accidents, so I typically stay on the outside of a wheel in front of me and be as safe as possible while out there. Here you can see two other riders and I holding the pace line. This is a great example here of wheels not overlapping. You don't ever want to overlap wheels, meaning your front wheels and the rear wheel on the left or the right side of the rider in front of you. By default, you will go down if they decide to turn. It causes accidents and you can get hurt very badly, so try to give yourself and the rider enough space to avoid this. Now here we have a short climb followed by a descent. Oftentimes the group will break from the pace line and hammer out the climb and regroup afterwards, which is fine. One thing to take note of is if you decide to come out the saddle, just be sure to maintain your momentum. Oftentimes riders will come out the saddle and fall back due to the loss in cadence, so I always recommend coming down a gear or two to prepare for that. Um, if you're behind a rider that comes out the saddle, just make sure you give them enough space and yourself enough space so that they can take that climb. During the descent, you also want to give yourself some space, so breaking the pace line is totally fine. Descents can be very dangerous, so just be aware of other riders and try not to be too close to them. You can see here, after the descent, the riders began to regroup, followed by a pass that I made on the left side. And that's another thing, when you pass, you always want to pass on the left side. Riders can read each other's mind to know what you're about to do, but what I like to do is anticipate the rider's moves before I take action. You want to scan the road for cracks, glass, sticks, and other debris. Doing this will prevent flats and accidents. Also, communication is key to a successful ride out there, so letting other riders know when you see bumps, red lights at an intersection, or if you have a flat tire is important. Lastly, have fun out there while riding, and most importantly, be safe. I hope this information will be useful for when you go out on your next ride. If you've enjoyed this video or have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Be sure to check back for updates and at www.manualpedal.com. Also, follow us on Instagram at manualpedalpicks and on Facebook forward slash manualpedal. Take care.